Eric Meyer, NASA Great Lakes Chief Instructor. I am here to show you a little about how to import your sessions or your outings into Track Attack. Track Attack is the new NASA Great Lakes software we'll be uh, uh, using to do our data acquisition intro for beginners and that we'll be using the HPD instructors we'll be using in HPD 3 and 4 to work with customers with Harry's Lap Timer, with Aim Solo, with MoTeC, with all your data to help you learn how to go faster and uh, become fairly proficient at learning how to uh, use data acquisition to go faster. So let's get started here. This is a very brief intro on how to import your data. This isn't how to fully uh, use the system, uh, it's just uh, how to import your data. So the first thing you want to do is go to Track Attack and you want to get an account. And an account's either free or it's $99 a year. And the $99 gives you unlimited uploads to the cloud to store your files. And you can see some of our drivers have uh, shared uh, their files with me. I've either uploaded them over the, or they've uploaded and shared them. And uh, allows me to help do analysis and the other instructors that are uh, proficient at data acquisition and also learning. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to downloads and it's for the well, nice thing it's for Windows or PC. You will download the software and when you do you get this little Rhino icon down here and the software looks something like this. Uh, here's our good friend Bar Brian Bolander in a Thunder Roadster at Mid-Ohio and uh, this is one of his uh, sessions. In this case, it's uh, lap eight of this outing, which he ran a, uh, a 141. By the way, the fastest lap will be shown as bold and will automatically show up right here. So let's get rid of this and let's pretend you're um, importing your very, very first session. Here's what you do. You want to go right up here and uh, you want to figure out where, if you have a USB stick or an SD card, or you emailed it, send it to your higher drive, whatever it is. But uh, here's what we want to do. In this case, my friend Matt Jufri, uh, he sent this to us. Matt is now in HPD4. He's an incredibly talented driver. Headed to comp school NC in March and comes from a rally background. So I've highlighted this file right here. As you can see, it gets it takes all kind of formats. Um, if you have a data acquisition file, chances are this software uploads it. We're going to hit open and we're going to get this screen right here and uh, it says reviewing session one of four. So this is the default and by default it shows me uh, on here and what we want to do is go down and pick Matt and uh, we want to choose his car or enter his car and what we're going to do here next, pretty simple, automatically figured out it was Audubon South automatically put the date, automatically put the time of the file, uh, assuming that your AIM Solo or your Harry's Lap Timer had the proper uh, date and time on there. And then we're going to go import all. So here's what it typically does. It will, uh, it will import and for me, I have to go in and change the name, which you know, I'll see Matt right here. I'm double clicking right here. And this is because I'm loading this for Matt. He doesn't have a, well, he might now. He doesn't have a, a track attack uh, account. Uh, and, and when you do have an account, you get your little handle. I'm NASA Eric. And uh, I'm going to invite you to this uh, NASA Great Lakes HPD team. You see that Keith. Uh, all these guys are instructors, so we're going to get our instructors on the program. You don't have to be an instructor to get invited to this team. Uh, come and join so that we can uh, play together and share information. It is when you share information that you get faster and you learn from other folks. Here's the last one I'm going to change right here to Matt. And then I'm going to get rid of all these. And if we were going to open sessions, we'd say, say we just... Uh, close the software and then we open it up here because we just got back from the track and it looks like this and we upload our sessions when we go here we um, we will see these four mats and we're going to hit OK and get us all four 
It's going to, by default, show the best lap in bold. So that's what you see here. You see a blue lap, a green, a uh, pink, I guess, and a yellow. And that's what you see up here. You also see a track map. Now here's what you want to do. You want to hit this button right here. And this, this is the neat thing about this track tech software. It's going to sync your files and save them securely to, uh, to a cloud and allow others access to this. Maybe you're a, uh, maybe you're a Miata driver in HPD uh, 2 or 3 or 4, and you want to share your files with another Miata driver uh, to see what he's doing. You guys want to learn from each other. Maybe you're a racer in a, in a spec iron, and you race against Chris Williams, and uh, you want to compare your laps to uh, Chris's very fast laps, because Chris is a talented driver. Um, that, that's one of the reasons to use this software, is to compare and to learn, or to allow somebody like me or uh, other instructors to help you with your data. So we have synced our information, and here's where it's at. We're going to go back to the software and to sessions, and this right here, There's Matt, there's his outings, and if I wanted to share that with anybody, if I was Matt and I wanted to share that with uh, uh, Dan Pena or Tara Brewster, so that we could, or uh, uh, Derek Moorhead, I could share this right like this. I could type who they are, if that's Derek, which he's probably not on here, and I'm probably getting his name wrong, but we would type that in there, it would show up, or if I would do, uh, let's see, I think it's NASA James, that's uh, James Wheeler. I would pick that and uh, push share, and he would get an email that says, sure, I'd like to have that. So there you have it, Track Tech software. Download to Mac or Windows right there. Open that bad dude up, and here are the files. Um, if we get rid of some of these outings, it's just going to leave that blue one up at the top. There we go, and there's one line, which is the best lap. Um, we're going to get into this information just a little bit more. Remember to use this button to sync whatever you just uploaded, so that ends up on the cloud right here, so others have access and is properly stored. And there you go. I'm Eric Meyer. This was How to Import Your Files Quick Tutorial. Look for one in the future about how to use some of this functionality to uh, learn more about your data, including some of the wonderful features that this system has here. Like, uh, well, you know what? There is a lot of them right here. And I'll go over those in the future in the very near future so look for uh look for the next video uh and we'll t entitle it something like uh uh how to navigate software and we'll go from there thanks we'll talk to you soon and send me your files i'm nasa eric or email them to me at eric meyer at nasa great lakes .com. see you bye